Hey, what's up, guys? It's Solax Gaming here, and I just got some really neat elevator designs I would love to show you. So, you know, Bedrock Minecraft has came out like a month or two ago, and I was really interested to try it and see how things work with Redstone. But unfortunately, Bedrock Redstone was a challenge for me. So when I got on, a lot of my inventions didn't work. I had to scrap pretty much everything. But through that sad process, I noticed that cool things like the stair mechanic as a zipper elevator works again. So I was wondering what else works. And uh, these piston elevators seem to be back in style. Now, I don't know if they worked on Java before. I feel like they didn't. I felt like I built it and it didn't. But here, this is one I built that goes like super fast. And you can see, look how smooth that is. I love it. Like, I had to use um, glass panes, though, because uh, if you use glass blocks on bedrock for some reason, you'll look like you're glitching through the pistons as you go up, and it'll still work the same way, but I feel like it's a little bit less reliable. So I did that just to relieve some stress. And uh, this thing is really compact, and that allowed me to add a down function. So check this out. The down function goes right down the middle, really sleek, and you can go down just like that. Now the problem with this elevator is that you don't know how reliable it'll be on a server. So you know, what's the point of an elevator if you can't show it off to your friends, right? So say you're on a server and you want to show off your redstone skills, you know. Maybe you want to build something more like this. Now look at this, it doesn't have a really big footprint at all. It's nice and slow, but not too slow. It makes you feel like you're getting where you want to go at a pretty nice speed. And as long as you ride in between the piston and the block, you'll make it up every time. Um, originally, this didn't have a down function, but I was able to add one a few weeks later after I figured out how to use observers in a different way. And I'll show you that in a minute. But first, I'll show you the one I made like this. It rides pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna show you how it goes up. But the challenge was figuring out how to fit a down function into it. And I did so like this. As you can see, you can write it down on two blocks, like just like that. Now, although I made a more compact design, compact version of that using uh, redstone lamps, as you can see right here, I felt like this still had a giant footprint. And I wish I had realized it before I built it in survival, because when I built it, I had a bunch of friends help me dig out this area, and it took forever because I was we were digging about like 64 blocks deep. So it was not a fun time. I really wish I had built this one because now look at the down function it only uses a this is using a water source to go down i recently realized that observers actually pick up on water covering the air block space so i linked up some observers just like so and you can use it just like this to go down on one block it's slightly slower than this one but at the same time it feels safe and you know when you ride an elevator you want to feel safe right so if you're okay with not having the two block down function, this is like the best thing I'd recommend building in survival, especially if you're playing single player. Alright guys, so now with that, let's crack on with the tutorial, right? Alright guys, so to build this elevator, you're going to need sticky pistons, regular pistons, obsidian, observers, a block if you're choosing, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, some redstone, and some glass. So, to start this design, you need to start with a piston tower. So, take a block if you're choosing and build it however high you want it. Say if you're building this 64 blocks high, you know, say if you want to go from a bedrock to a ground level. Usually, that's about 64 blocks high. So, if you're building like 64 blocks high, you're going to need exactly 64 sticky pistons and 64 regular pistons. Go ahead and take your sticky pistons and make a zigzag pattern like this. Now once you've done that, make note of where the top piston is facing and get rid of the blocks out of the opposite side of it. So I'm getting rid of this cobblestone here and I'm going to replace it with a redstone repeaters like this. And make sure that they're all at full ticks delay. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and place blocks along these pistons like this. And then on the side of these, place observers facing into the redstone repeaters like this. Once you've done that, you can get rid of these temporaries and then go on to the front and place your regular pistons facing into these sticky pistons like this. 
Once that's done, take a block of your choosing and fill in all the gaps so that you don't get sucked into the pistons while riding this thing. And then cap it off with some obsidian at the top. Now take your regular sticky pistons and place them here and here. Now we need to go around to the back and actually do the spine of the elevator, the one that sent the part that sends you upward. So the way you wire up the spine is to place cobblestone like this in a zigzag pattern. Make sure that the cobblestone is not on the face on the backs of these pistons. And then keep doing it like this. Now we, what you want to do is make a checkerboard pattern like this. And then do the same to the other side. And then what you want to do after that is take repeaters and paste them into each other like this. Now take redstone torches and place them along the side like this. All right, now we're gonna take this thing a little bit deeper. We're gonna take it two layers into the ground. So go down and do like this. And then finish off the design like this. All right, now that that's done, make note of the side where the torches are activated. And where this, where this is, you wanna place torches that are deactivated. Then on this side, you wanna place Redstone. You can actually get rid of this top observer and this top repeater and place a block like this. So what you want to do is uh, take redstone and line these like this. Make sure you put one down here too. And then uh, depending on which torches are uh, which torches are active um, is how the sides will look. Sometimes you won't see redstone on top of these observers' faces. It doesn't really matter where it is as long as it works. So yeah, once you've done that, take your observers like this and do like this on both sides. Now take a block of your choosing and line the observers' faces. And go ahead and cap it off just like this. Now that that's done, take your glass and make sure that it's too high and not three high or else you'll have a riggedy ride and do it all the way up to the top layer. This is where the floor is, where this last piston is. So we're stopping right there. Now go around to the back and look for the last torch to be unlit or lit, depending which one is the highest one. So this is the highest one. We're gonna do this, take some blocks like this and actually wire it up. Now that should be the right speed, but if it's not, you can um, make this connection more delayed. So what we're going to do is take a button and go down to the bottom. Now take your redstone and do like this. Look for the cobblestone in the back and place your redstone torches, I mean redstone repeater, <laughs> redstone like this. And then a button. So if we were to ride this thing, it should ride very smooth. Nice, and I get pushed out just in time. So now the last thing you want to do is wire the down function. So you need a stone button for this. A, a wooden button would mess up the timing. So make sure you use a stone button. Then go around to the back where the stone button is. And on that layer, you're going to place a barrier to block water from like flowing into everything. And you're going to place a dispenser. And then go ahead and put some water inside of it like this. Then place a piece of redstone here, redstone repeater here, and redstone repeater right here. You can leave it at two or three ticks, but don't use four. Four is a little bit unreliable when lag is involved. So I'm gonna leave mine at two ticks because I like two ticks. And then once that's done, let's check to make sure everything's in there. Right, now, the, now we need to go down to the bottom and finish it off like this. Nice. Now that should be everything completed. If you were to ride it, it should ride just like this. Perfect. And as you can see, the water goes down the side and activates the observers. And when you turn the water off, 
it also activates the observers on the way down. Okay, so I actually built a taller one for you guys just to show you how it would look in action. So if you ride it like this, pretty easy ride, nice and um, nice and moderate. And on the way down, it goes down the same way. Just like that. Water's a little bit untimely sometimes when it comes to like server lag and all that, but I guarantee that you won't fall through this thing and die. And if you do think that you will, I just suggest placing a slime block or a water source down here. And once you notice yourself falling, just drift over to the right side. But yeah, look at this thing. It's like a four by five. And that's even if you don't want to include the glass, it's just a four by four. I just like to put glass in place because I like to see glass when I'm going down an elevator. But yeah, it's a really compact, sleek design, easy to build, and it's kind of resource friendly. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I really thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy these designs. If you really do love these designs, smash that like button, subscribe, and I look forward to making content soon again. So thank you guys. Peace.